open as my principals, colleagues of the Senate, all protocol observed. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a pleasure to be here today to meet and interact with you, honorable members, as we discuss our adequate financing for county governments for efficient services delivery. This meeting is very important as it accords us the opportunity to reflect on the devolution story, having walked the devolution journey for the last 10 years. And I'm glad to be part and parcel of that journey since it started 10 years ago. Let me confess that I'm happy to have the right Honorable Prime Minister Barbara Ella Molodinga present as the Chief of Guests today. We know he's the main force behind devolution. Indeed, he is the father of devolution. We owe him a great deal for advocating tirelessly, tirelessly despite facing pushbacks along the way. The last 10 years of devolution have had their fair share of successes. However concerned by the low rate of by the low rate of absorption of these funds to develop for development purposes. We are all called as leaders to do a better job for our people. And this must philosophy. We should spend the entire allocation on development positively, contribute towards the country's growth and service delivery. Although devolution has brought some success in bringing government closer to Kenyan citizens and advancing development, evidence shows that corruption is a major challenge affecting most county governments. It is indeed my humble appeal that we should expose corruption, we should expose corruption and fight it out. In conclusion, I want to emphasize that the spirit of devolution in Kenya is not about to is not about two levels of, but complementing each other for efficient each other for efficient and effective service delivery to the citizens. I urge my colleagues at the Senate not to abrogate their oversight duty in holding the county governments accountable. Another round of applause for Minority Leader, Senator Mazzaio. Next, Assembly Majority Leader, Honorable Kimani Shungwa, Kimani Shungwa, and on his behalf, the remarks will be made by the Deputy Majority Leader, Owen Bayer.